everybody welcome back to another episode of infiltration so let's quickly have a look at the mech base so i've done a couple of things since the last episode one i brought the zeus forward we're getting that the base um repairs done on it doesn't have any weapons or anything yet um but we're getting the base repairs done on this because i want this to replace the centurion we do have a full arm here with two ballistic points in this arm so that's going to be the mounting for the rack uh, and we'll pull the Centurion out of service. But right now, I refit the Centurion slightly. Uh, not much is different. We had to replace the one ton of rack armor that got damaged. And then I thought, well, this MML is not really working. I'd like to get an XL gyro in. So I took out one of the medium lasers, put in the XL gyro, which gave us the ability to put in another, a half a ton of ammo for the MML. And we upgraded the MML to an MML-10. Now this gives us the ability to put thunder ammo in here as well. It's improved thunder, so it's a little better. I mean, it's only firing 10 rounds, but I figure if we can use some area denial weapons, um, there's probably a few instances where we were able to pull legs off mechs, which we never had before. Um, but this way we can probably attempt to do that uh, without having to uh, totally wreck them. Since for whatever reason, our uh, uh, cold shots aren't working very well, so we'll, tr we'll try this. Uh, so that's an extra half ton of ammo for the risk, and we've also got an extra ton of rack ammo. So if we're going for longer uh, missions, I don't have to worry about the amount of rounds we're firing. Uh, I can go full out and not have to worry about that. So that's what I added on this guy, and I think that's it. Oh wait, sorry, the uh, second Grand Summoner. Now we pulled out the Apollo. Uh, was it the Prime we did? Uh, yeah, this is the one. So the Grand Summoner Prime... Man, I gotta tell you, this guy was really hard to outfit because, uh, number one, I don't really have the weapons I wanted to put on this guy. Uh, it's not a, it's not really that great for an Ultra 20 build um, because we can't really get a lot into the arm to um, augment the uh, to hit chance. So for now, I've basically moved everything from the Apollo over to this guy. So we have the four ATM sixes, um, two in the torso with a turret mount. Uh, I know um, uh, Fist of Dorm was mentioning using the turret mount perhaps for an Ultra 20, but on this guy, I, I, I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see. Most likely I'm going to be switching stuff around um, simply because right now I really don't think I have the gear I need to do what I need to do. So we will be switching stuff around, but for now, because we're going to take a mission, I wanted to make sure this guy was at least up and running. Um, so it basically is the Apollo with the exception that... Um, it's now on a Grand Summoner, so we got an extra, uh, what, 15 tons. So we got the tracker sensors, uh, rangefinder for improved sight, fire control system, Artemis 3, which gives us bonus to hit with the uh, ATMs. ATM, one on each arm with a lower arm pod, which gives us plus one arm modifier accuracy. The turrets here to give these guys the accuracy. We've got three tons of regular ammo, three tons of HE ammo with protected by case. And we got one jump jet just in case. We left. I left this exactly how it was, so the engine heat sinking plus four, because we didn't. We didn't need the space. And our heat efficiency is actually not too bad. Alpha strike is 98. Uh, but if we're doing indirect fire with the ATMs, then the the ER mediums aren't needed to be on. And if we cycle one on and off every couple turns, we should be just fine. So that's the Grand Summoner. I think I love those uh, about those Omnimax, even though we have limited amount of um, space to put stuff in, the fact that we can get them up and running really, really quickly uh, is a huge bonus. So that was it. Everything else remained the same. So let's have a look here at the command center. I want to do attack and defend today. So I think it was retaliation. Yeah, the attack and defend. Um, one or two wolf facilities in the region uh, has gone dark. We're not sure why. Um, Unknown mechs moving in the area. Seems though they're preparing for an assault on a secondary base. We need to defend the secondary base and attack the primary one. Um, so I have no idea. I, I don't. We haven't really done an attack and defend. I don't think so. I want to try this one. We're going to go in and attack and destroy. Is what I say. Uh, so let's do this. It's local pirates, so we're not that we're not that worried about it. Uh, and we're going to go with the standard lance, kind of. Uh, so let's see here. So Centurion is going to stay in oops sorry centurion will stay in hellion's hands uh grand summoner prime is the atm build correct and this guy is the ultra 20 build so the ultra 20 uh we're gonna put that in um gundall's hands you come over here please 
You're not doing what I'm thinking, guys. Come on. And then we've got the Grand Summoner Prime. We'll go with Duck. And then the Archer will go with Mastodon. Now, he's got multi-target. I would rather, I think, have the uh, LRM 70 on a multi-target than I would uh, the ATMs. Um, yeah, so I think we're ready to go. Let's do this. Okay, here we are. So that's the base that went dark. And looks like... And just set the pirate lance closing on our position. Oh, that should be no problem. Some back in the form of defense turrets, but they won't last long against actual max. You need to make sure the enemy's attention destroy the friendly facility. Okay. One way to stop attacks entirely is to break their command and control, which means taking down that enemy facility. That should be our priority. Okay. Once the base, once that base is rubble, I'll meet you at this LZ. Yeah, sure. When a good pirate's a dead part, you got that right. Destroy reinforcements, wave one, wave two, wave three, seven, eleven, and fourteen. Defend the wolf base, four structures remaining. Cap destroy the capture base, four structures. Well, what do we got here? Grand Summoner, a Griffin, a Shadow Hawk. Uh, yeah, please don't shoot us in the back, guy. Helopolis and an adder. Okay, well, that's where we're going. Good thing we got a lot of long-range firepower and relatively fast mechs, so I feel pretty confident about this. Uh, uh, let's get straight up in here, because I am not afraid. Well, I am, but I am and I'm not. All right, let's move up. I want to get close to them as fast as possible, so that's the end of your turn. Yes, Commander. You too, buddy. I want those eight, those uh, rocket launchers up here to shut somebody down if we need to. Now, when I was outfitting the, the second Grand Summoner, I was thinking about pulling this guy offline because a double MRM-10 build might be nice on that. But once again, I'm not really sure. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. So we'll see how the... I mean, we know that du the dual ER medium and uh, ATM-24 build is actually pretty good. So if we have to leave the Grand Summoner at this stage so be it you know oh shoot oh crap you can't move oh this is going to be a restart where are you stuck in a wall or something I guess so. Damn it, you know, all I needed was one jump jet. I've got one on the other. Oh, okay. Let's restart because I don't know if we're going to be ret retreating from this. You know what? Forget it. We're not retreating from this. Let's take this as it is, guys. I know it sounds crazy, but if things go awry, uh, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Things could end up really terrible, but you know what? I don't feel like reloading. As much as I want to, it's like, I don't know, man. I, I can't. It's weird to want to justify. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I mean, we, we should be able to crush the reinforcement waves. This is three skull, right? We got four turns and then three turns after that. We should easily be able to crush their uh, reinforcement waves. We got a hell of a lot of firepower. Okay, we got a blackjack up here. Yeah, we're going to rip these guys a new one, I think. Uh, okay, where are you? All right, so let's go... Let's brace you. You can't do anything just yet. Let's see what they're going to do here. So we've supplied them basically with an Ultra 20 turret for the second base. Oh, okay. Good to go. Quack, quack. Let's do this. Can we get a direct line of sight on somebody? We can. So what do we got? A Blackjack old. 
Pirate, Ostrock, 60 tons. Let's get into here. Uh, you're basically better at long range, so I don't know why I'm closing that, that close. That's probably a little better. On my way. Let's get up here. What else do we have down here? Thunderbolt? Orion? Okay. Yeah, I forgot I cranked the difficulty up, so... Oh yeah, let's, let's demo this guy fast if we can. Uh, can you get your rack up here anywhere? I don't mean that to sound derogatory either. Um, uh, you know what, let's reserve. So we should be able to shred these guys pretty quickly, I think. The two blackjacks should go down pretty fast, I think. The Orion will take a little longer. The Ostrox should go down. From what I remember, the Ostrox, they weren't too heavily armored. Now they're not really doing much, are they? Yeah, I think I need you to tie up this Orion here. So let's get some heat on him. 1C, I have no idea what the hell that is. Do I want to use the heat though this early? Probably. And the tag. Let's Warlord this to give us a better chance to hit. Oh, you know what I should do is just only fire those rockets when I can Warlord. I understand. How you like them apples? Okay. Units at the facility. Not worried about that. Ah, man, I should be shooting at range here. Let's give them something for me, to th for them to shoot at here. 99% um, on this guy. It gets lower as we get closer. Still pretty good on this guy, though. I think we want to target this Orion and get rid of him, so let's do that. Um, let's OP his torso here, see what we can do. Okay, there he goes. Enemy mech destroyed. Yeah, he wasn't packing much. But he's still 75 tons, so it's nice having that off the field really quick. It'll give these guys some, you know, a second thought about what their uh, life goals are. Because sure as hell ain't going to be beating us. And if they've only got four mechs coming in each wave, these guys are toast. Alright, let's get our lerms in here. Let's give this guy a Lerm 70. Well, let's not say we did. Yeah, these guys haven't moved yet, so it's... That's fine. We'll just uh, end our turn. Yeah, you guys just stand back there. Keep that base defended. This is, a, this is that one time where I actually don't mind my uh, reinforcements staying back at the base. Yeah, you guys just stay right there. Blackjack, what are you going to shoot at? Nothing. I guess they're moving to attack that base. Don't fire. God damn it. Okay, well at least you shot at that guy. Which one of these two do wants to... Let's give this pirate guy a face full of stuff. Right here. And... Wow, it's got a lot of periphery cra AMS flare, eh? Did we warlord it? We might as well. Let's fire on this guy. Ooh, right in the groin. Yeah. Well, we didn't give you extra ammo for nothing. Let's warlord this and shred this guy. I want him gone, please. I'm guessing you didn't like that, did you? 
Ooh, I forgot we had the barrage. I should have uh, been more aware. Whoops. Sorry, my bad. And I should have checked my MMLs too. No, oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, they got the base's turrets powered up, did they? Looks, looks like a stalker back here. If this is three skulls and that's a stalker, that's cool. I don't think it is though. Whoa! Okay, well, we need to get on those turrets. Can we get on those turrets, please? Please and freaking thank you. They're out of range? They shouldn't be out of range. What's this guy? A quick draw? A clint? Not too really too worried about those two guys. This is a stalker, right? A hell up. Oh, okay. Heavy thunderbolt emplacement, 75 tons. Standard tor center what? Turret. Heavy turret. Can we get a shot? Without the Helopolis seeing us, we can't really. I think we need to take a secondary turn here. Let's do this. I want this guy gone. Let's just fire on him. Let's make sure we hit. Create some opportunity. Enemy critical damage detected. Who are you going to shoot at? Okay. Beautiful, thank you. One last thing I got to worry about. Don't shoot when I'm next to him, you dumbass. Ha! <laughs> yeah, run. Okay, we need to get our lerms up here. Oh, don't worry about it. I got this guy. I got him. Orders. Let's get our stability back. Roger that. We got lots of armor. I'm not worried. I'm more worried about the stability damage than anything on this guy. Alright, let's hit this guy with ATMs and hopefully we can fry him. Okay, a lot of damage. Beautiful. A critical hit. He's pretty much done. I mean, he's running, so he's not going to survive this turn. Like, look at this. I think he's got a large and two mediums, if I'm not mistaken. There's got to be another mech back there, though. Um, let's get up here. Let's target this guy. I know it's a bad chance to hit. Uh, let's leave the lerms off because we're going to need them later, but let's fire with the lasers. Okay, nice shooting. That's the other arm gone. His large laser is destroyed. I think he's got two mediums in the CT. Pretty sure that that's how that guy's laid out. Um, let's see what your chance to hit those turrets are. That's the Thunderbolt emplacement. 31, we're going to take it and fire. Okay, not bad. Uh, you need to fuck this guy up, will you? Let's leave these off. And we'll fire the rest. And firing. Okay, good damage. I mean, relatively good damage. Yeah, you need to stay as a turret. <laughs> no problem. I'd have a problem if someone asked me to stay as a turret. I'd be like, no! We'll just say that his legs got damaged on the drop. Can't move. Oh Jesus, that blackjack's in big trouble. 
Okay, let's not go over overboard with this because we need the frack at full speed coming up. So let's just fire three. Hopefully we get some damage on him. Two, two hits, beautiful. Might have been all three of them, I don't know. Don't fire at me, okay. Had me worried there for a second. Whenever I see that guy turn his gun, it's like, no, 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 no. All right, we got, what, four turns now? Yeah, good luck with that. I'm third, I'm worried about the Thunderbolts, that's what I'm worried about. Oh. Damage is minor, Commander. Okay. Let's start the push. This guy's gonna go. Engaging target. Ooh, not quite. Hopefully we can finish it up. Yes, Alright Dallas, I need you to double target some stuff here. Uh, but you need to be able to see the secondary target. There we go. So let's move into here. All right. And we're going to multi. I'm going to go against this guy in the turret. Turret is going to take the LRMs. Beautiful chances to hit and firing. All right. There's the torso gone. Beautiful. Target destroyed. Now I tried to get a double streak 20 build going on that uh, Grand Summoner. It's just that that would be it. You would have two streak 20s because they're 10 tons of pop. And then, you know, I got to get what? Uh, at least two, four, four tons of ammo, maybe five tons of ammo plus case. So I, I didn't really have much left at that point, right? Oh, you're a little bit upset. I can understand. I can understand you being upset. Yeah. I need you to stay as a turret, man. Roger that. Stick in. Don't shoot the Ostrock. You dumbass. You're the back of a blackjack and you're going to shoot the Ostrock. Oh, he bailed. Okay. Uh, I take it back. Guy's all yours, buddy. Let's make sure we get in the trees. God, this bushwhacker is still... Still pretty damn devastating for a 55-ton mech. Have a seat, buddy. Blow up, though. Nah. Can't get that lucky. Uh, we need to target some shiz down here. Where, um, can we not, oh, we can get a direct line of sight in one of the turrets here. So let's do that. Let's get over here. Let's put the, uh, the 70 on this guy. And the barrage. Hopefully we can get a lot of those buildings down there. Let's see what we can do. Both lasers hit. There goes the turret. Didn't get any of the structures though. But they took some damage, so... Looks like this guy took damage too. Commander. Can you? Oh, you can. Um... Let's swap out of the HE. Save that for later. Affirmative. Scratch another target. Okay, there's one pirate lance down. Let's move over here. Yeah, I know we're overheating, but spend a turn to cool off here, guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just relax. Relax. Don't do it. We could wind the rack up on that quick draw. Maybe we should, because he didn't really move last turn. Can you wind your rack up on him, please? 
I want to hear that thing whirring. Here it comes. Well, two hits, okay. Some MLs. MMLs, that is. This guy's got some guts. Thanks for showing up. You get a medal for participation. Oh, Vulcan, okay. Not so bad. The, Helop the Helopolis is back there. Hel Helopolis? Just don't hit my guys. Yeah, that base will be level in a second. I'm just interested to find out where these reinforcements arrive. It's kind of why I don't want to leave, right? Because I've never done one of these before. Okay, beautiful. Move up. Thumper artillery turret. We can deal with him. Heavy sniper turret. He's an infiltrator. Uh, we should be able to pull this guy down, I think. We've got enough for that, I think. Engaging target. Yep. Beautiful. Target destroyed. Um. Let's just back up. Back it up. I don't know how far forward we should go, because if they get guys dropping back here, which I'm not sure if they will or not, the reinforcements might show up from back here, because it doesn't seem like... Oh, maybe from over here. That's okay. We have an Ultra 20 bunker back here, so we're, we should be fine. Standing by. All right, let's move into here. Get the Vulcan on sensors. What's this guy? The quick draw? That should drop a ton of heat. So let's just drop some... Uh, a oh, can we get... No, we can't hit with HE, but we'll fire with the rest. Beautiful. We should be able to finish that up very shortly. I think I hit something good. You did. Yeah. Rack is jammed, but we can drop the MMLs and stuff on that uh, turret. Uh, we got three turns of that left. Okay, so our... That's fine. Our, our um, dead fire can't hit. Beautiful. That's the turrets done. Rack one for Mama. Mama's been, like, kicking ass every single mission she's been on. Aren't you talking about... We're acting like a thousand up for Mama. This would be a nice back attack, but I think we need to take this one here. Let's fire. On See ya. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't holding up against that guy, that's for sure. Alright, that guy wants to give you his back. You go ahead and take that. Now that we've got our uh, uh, targeting tracker... Uh, Sorry, tracker sensors on this thing. That's uh, pretty damn good chances to hit, and we're going to take it. That's what you get when you try and run. Enemy eliminated. Yeah, we got overwhelming firepower here, so I'm thinking that three skulls is like is no longer viable for us. And when that Zeus gets into play, it's even going to be worse, so... Alright, let's give this guy a face full of it. Yes, come in. Watch out for the next wave. I mean, I got that big hyper pulse laser too. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about the grand, our grand summer, the ATM build we have. It's not bad, but I tried to toy around a bit with the uh, 
hyper laser that we have, the 9 ton hyper laser, that does 100 damage for 72 heat. Now the base heat sinking on that mech is, if I'm not mistaken, 74? No, 84. That's with the core and the plus four heat sinking, um, heat sink node in the center torso. So it's got a base 84 heat sinking. So the hyper laser could work, but that 15% misfire chance, I think if it misfires twice, uh, someone was mentioning it could explode, which would be very, very bad, obviously. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I want to risk it or what. I want to put it on a mech that I know if it gets if it gets hit. Um, actually, I can't multi. Let's just fire on this guy. Engaging. That if the laser takes a misfire chance, that I could leave it off. And then, um, if I leave it off, do we have? We don't. Let's just get in here. Uh, if I leave it off, I still have enough weapons to be able to contribute to the battle. That's the thing about stuff that gives you a big misfire chance. If you're in a long, like a long, prolonged battle, the last thing you want to do is lose that weapon. Ooh, not quite, eh? Let's show them how it's done, buddy. Let's target this building. That tag barrage should finish everything else up. Beautiful. That's how you do it. Alright. Oh wait, they got one building left. Let's see if we can get on this Vulcan. He's hidden back there pretty damn good. So let's just walk it up then. Having a bit of heat problems, so let's move into here. I don't know how much we need on this building though. That's not much. Let's just leave these off. On. Oh, okay. Order. Guess it was a lot. Yeah, so that hyper laser, I don't know, it's it's a really tricky thing. You'd, I want to kind of base a build around it because it's got really nice long range. But I don't want to base a build around it because, you know, if it misfires, then you, then what? What do you do? Like you're you're stuck, right? Um, we can't hit the Vulcan. Where's that building? Let's just do this. I'm not going anywhere. What do you mean clear to extract? What the hell kind of person are you? It's like saying, you can run away now. It's like, fuck that. I'm not going anywhere. we got guys we need to clear, clean up here. Can't leave them here. Oh, the little flashes are cool. Well, see ya. <laughs> oh, there we go. They didn't even get any reinforcements. All right. All right, look at that. 10, 20, 30, 40... 40% increase in payment, which is nice. At least we make some C-bills this time. Not a lot, but we'll make a little bit. Every little bit helps. Now, we want to be able to get some stuff that we can sell. Quick draw parts, Helopolis part, Orion part. So, oh, how it's here? 2,000, what the hell? 10 tons. 120, wow, 1.2 uh, kilometers, eh? AOE damage within 60 meters of impact. Eh. Um, wow, well, not a lot here, eh? So I am going to increase the parts we need to assemble a mech. Kinetic kill, what's this? TBM 10 kinetic kill. Plus 10 weapon damage dealt. Decreases at close range to a minimum of 20%. So it's better at long range. 25% damage dealt to armor. Minus 25% damage dealt to structure. Okay. So it's good for cracking shells is what this guy is good for. Thunderbolt 10 ammo, 6 shots. We don't have any Thunderbolt 10s though. We do have Thunderbolt 15s. I thought about putting that in the... Uh, putting one or two of those into the... Um, 
um, Grand Summoner Prime. Okay, I'm going to take some stuff for sea bills. Now we do we've got a lot of double heat sinks. There's nothing really here. I mean, this is kind of interesting. How much is it worth? 300,000 AMS flare. Counter missile missile. We'll intercept missiles fired at any incoming landsmate within range. Fires 10 shots. Five salvos for one ton. Actually, that's not bad. 80% AMS accuracy. 460 meter range. I'm going to throw that in here. Just because. And because I like the Orions. I should take the Orion part. Uh, I know we got a, I think we've got a Helopolis part. I keep calling it Helopolis. It's Helopolis. Helopolis? Helopolis, probably? If it's Greek, it's Helopolis. Helopolis? I, I could be wrong. I think we've got a, <laughs> whatever. We've got a, I think we've got a part of this guy. Uh, but I want Orion parts more than anything than that. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to turn up the uh, mech parts to five, I think. Because I think we're at a good place for mechs right now. And then just kind of, we get what we get. Maybe I take one mech part per mission or something. Yeah, let's go this route. Okay, so a couple of blackjack parts. Clint, quick draw, Orion. LRM, some stuff to sell here. LR, LRM-15s and that. Cores we're probably going to sell anyway. These guys will all sell. Uh, spiked helmet, eh? We were having, if we had a melee build, then sure. Oh, we got the kinetic kill ammo. Interesting. Well, I'll hang on to that. But the rifle ammo will sell. Okay, let's just do this. Okay. Nothing. Two days for repairs. Beautiful. So we've got time to pull off another quick mission here. What I'll do, uh, let's get our pilots back. We've got three days to wait. Yeah. So we'll do that real quick. There we go. Let's take another quick mission here. Just because we can. Um, eviction is what? Destroy a base? Let's do this. And we're only going to take four mechs. We're going to take the main lance, I think. Let's accept this. And, yeah, we'll just take the main lance. I don't think we need to run the second lance on this one. Uh, although, I'm going to leave Duck out with this Grand Summoner. And we're going to bring in the, the Summoner B with uh, Gundal, only because he didn't get to fight last <laughs> the last time. So we're going to bring in him with the Ultra 20. Let's go do this. All right, here we go. Just the four of us. Beautiful. Uh, looks like we got a lance and the base. All right. Keep your eyes clear and watch your sensors. So with this one, I like to come up this way to keep the height advantage. So we're going to do that. So let's move along this way. Um, so we got turrets, probably a one and one lance guarding the base. There might be support, but I don't know. See how it goes. Go. Not really that worried about it. I mean, we could run into some stiff resistance. Commander? I think as long as we stay at range, though, we're fine. Confirm. So next episode, depending on how much salv like salvage we can sell and how many sea bills we have. Um, I want to try and get that Zeus uh, up and running. What do we got here? Urban Assault Vehicle, Vulcan. Okay. Alright. That's all right. Let's make sure we stay apart here. I don't know what that uh, vehicle's got on it. So, um, yeah. Now, if I remember correctly, because it's been a while since I recorded. It's been like a week, I think. Um, I think... The Zeus X has been outfitted with an XL engine and everything. I think it's everything, like the armor's been upgraded, like everything is ready to go. All we need to fit do is fit in the gear. Oh, somebody's bringing the rain. 
So I think, as I was saying, all we need to do is bring in the um, the weaponry, and that's going to come from the Centurion. So the rack is going in there, um, and it's got this. The Zeus has also got the ability to um, add another long-range system in the arm because it's got two missile systems in the right arm, two ballistic systems in the left. So I could add a Streak Twenty. The only thing about well, you know, actually. I think the Shriek 20 will probably be uh, compatible with the rack because they're both direct fire weapons. You need to be direct fire for the streaks uh, to work properly. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, they got two lances here, right? Eh? No, they got one. Gladiator. Oh, that looks like a rifleman to me. Jagermack, and he's trapped down in there. Trebuchet. Okay. Not too bad. What turret is this? Heavy turret. Okay. So with the rack and the Streak 20, it might be a viable platform with uh, sensor, like targeting sensors, or track, sorry, the tracking sensors. Um, and I was thinking about putting that battle computer on it as well. Um, I'll stop. Yeah, I saw that. Everybody's shooting at you. So the battle computer, um, has got a whole bunch of stuff that we could add. So the plus two long range um, module, the plus one missile uh, accuracy module, the plus one evasion, ignore module. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that could be added. And with this Streak 20 um, and a rack, oh God, really? With a Streak 20 and a rack on there, that could be potentially devastating for enemies. And if we can get a lot of recoil reduction, that would be even better. They really don't like you, eh? All right. Let's get our stability back. Let's wipe out this Vulcan if we can. Let's make them think twice about sticking their head up again next time. I want to move faster than this, but we got to remove this guy. Here it comes. See ya! With a big nuclear mushroom cloud. Now you know what you're up against. So screw you. Sprint it up here, buddy. We gotta get that big ultra into battle. At least we're keeping these guys in indirect mode. If we had gone the other way, it would have been all direct fired. It could have been bad. But yeah, so, I mean, we could add a lot of... Um, modules to the Zeus to make that uh, streak hit really well, to make the ultra hit really well and be recoil resistant. It's a hammer. So they they do have a full lance here? Or lance in a bit maybe? I don't know. Would have been nice if we had more guys, but whatever. Whatever. As far as you can go, buddy, I need you to get in there. Start shutting people up. We got two more turns at least before we crest that hill. Unless they want to do something stupid like crest the hill on their side. So we got they got two lances, it looks like. That's okay, we're used to two to one odds. Or one to two odds, I guess it would be. So yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of prospects for that that Zeus. I want to make sure we have at least four tons of ammo for the rack. Because we've got um, a lot of recoil reduction stuff we can throw on there. The thing we'd be trading out is right now the Centurion has got the AC-20. Um, it's got the AC-20, um, or sorry, the the auto cannon uh, targeting computer in the head, which gives it plus two to hit, minus one recoil, but. I'm thinking if we're just going to be sitting at long range with that thing, then with a with a breaching battle computer, right, we can split up the fire between the um, rack and the streaks. If we're just using the two weapons, we can split the fire up and be breaching shot for both. Um, and then we can just um, hammer away at long range. So it's going to be a, it's definitely going to be a work in progress. We're going to have to play around with it a little bit. 
Uh, but it's definitely going to be an upgrade to the Centurion. The fact that the, just the armor upgrade for him, the extra 30 tons. Not liking that Thunderbolt. It could have been. Let's get you sprinting. How's that left side? Not looking so good, eh? A little bit more evasion gone. Now, I don't think you can crest the hill just yet, but we can get pretty darn close. Let's get up here. Come on, I need a big AC up here, buddy. There's a lot of mechs I need you to wreck. Yeah, so the Zeus is going to give us a lot of options. More so than the Centurion did. I mean, I don't know. The Centurion, I think, would have been a really good close range build. But it was really the only platform we could put the rack on where the rack has a really great chance to hit. So that's why it ended up becoming the rack rack mech. Like with the three missile points in the shoulder, the Centurion easily could have taken three of those um, uh, SRMs that do 10 damage each. And then a couple of mediums in the center torso and then like, a, I don't know, some kind of ballistic weapon in the arm, like an Ultra 10 or something. If we had to wait for it. Even an Ultra 5 would be fine. Let's get over here. Okay, we're gonna this hammer's dead. Try to stay a little hull down here. Oh yeah, I'm close range on this guy, that's why. He's got light armor. He's a he's a juicy goofy target is what he is. All right, that's the uh trebuchet. Order. <laughs> uh turret chassis or mech? Looks like turret chassis. Uh, I'm gonna warlord this because I just for the chance better chance to hit. Hopefully two of the ultras hit. Beautiful. Significant damage. Goofy should be able to split fire and take that thing out. That's the Thunderbolt turret, I think. I think. Anyways, it should be interesting. We're gonna give uh the Zeus to um Hellion. Um, let's get into here. Roger. Full speed. Hey. Oh, you stealthing. I can't multi you. Okay, there's our targets. Uh, Uh, A or B? Wow, that's really bad chances to hit. What the hell's up with that? Let's just put it all on B. Okay. Wow. Probably range, most likely. This guy really is a medium range build, medium close range. Okay, so that was the Jagger. So they do have two lances here. Oh, what do we got over there? Oh, Marauder 2. I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy structure. Bring it down. That wasn't me, it was them. No, BH2. Good luck with that. I don't know how we're going to kill that Jagger mech. 
to get right in his face it looks like trebuchet gladiator okay that's an interesting loadout once again you're long range so let's get into here Thirty-seven, huh? Um, we're gonna go against this guy, and my reasoning is, is we've got the um, barrages or a barrage, which we can use against the vehicle. which I think will do plenty of damage against that vehicle. He's feeling confident, that guy. He should not be feeling that confident. Huh. Let's get rid of this guy. I'm gonna do this slowly and methodically here, I think. We don't want this guy in our midst. Let's just use one. Is that going to be enough? Probably. You got it. Yeah. Okay, that guy's gone. Yes, you need the vehicle now, please. Yes, Maybe we can multi this. Uh, what's the vehicle chance to hit? Pretty damn good with the barrage. What else do we have here? Zula. Let's leave the rockets off. I was thinking about switching them over to the trebuchet, but I think we'll wait. Let's make sure we get this vehicle. Okay, good damage, but not enough to kill, unfortunately. I need to be at range for this guy. Same thing. Vehicle... Uh, tags the uh, arrows off, but that's fine. Oof. Thing's got lots of armor. Well, at least I can see you through there. He's all nice and hot now. Maybe we can burn him up. Look at this. It's awesome. Little crackly fires. Well, there goes the vehicle. So I don't know. I, maybe that the grand, the second grand summoner with the ATM build stays like that. So our support lance would be the archer, the grand summoner, ATM build, the. Um, the Hades and um, the Thunderbolt and then the attack lance would be the Zeus X the Grand Summoner with the AC-20 um, and then I guess the Bushwhacker uh, what's the other one we have? and something and the other something Oh, no, that's right, only three, and then we'd have to get a fourth one. That's right. Still working on getting that fourth slot for the drop. But that would give us a good... I mean... Yeah, Zeus X is really fire support mech, though, if we're going to go with the rack build on it. I mean, I guess I could switch it out to the Ultra 20. And go with a close-in build. I'm here. But like I said, it really is the best platform for that rack. Uh, let's see if we can finish this up. Copy that. Beautiful. Reporting. Enemy vehicle removed. Let's get in the trees, please. Order. Get some stability back. Okay, we got some more sensor traces on people here, I think. At least it sounded that way. Okay, we got the other turret back here. Anti-tank turret, huh? What does that even mean? 
artillery stuff, I guess. I don't know what the hell that means. Dude, you got no armor. What are you doing? I want to shoot a turret here. Let's get the one back over here. Uh, yeah, just fire. Beautiful. Target destroyed. Good to go. Um, can you get to see that Jaeger mech? I guess Goofy's in your way, huh? Let's reserve you. I think Goofy... Did this guy move? He didn't. He's still sitting right there. Goofy's going to multi-target. We're going to use the, uh... Oof. Okay. Yeah, it's that Marauder. He's being an asshole. Alright, it's multi-target. We're going to shoot... Oh, it's indirect. Okay. Let's just attack this guy straight out then. Uh, I don't think we need anything else on that. He's not having a good day at all. Okay, let's move it back here. Now, I think we want to get Gundal. I don't know. I, uh, the AT turret at the back. Gundal might be able to smite, smite that real quick. I don't know what's there. I don't know what what would be in considered an anti-tank. Like Ultra 20s maybe? Or... Oh, I take it back. Heavy rifle and two rocket pack 20s. Yeah, that's uh, really going to help out. He's trying to heat you up, eh? Yes, Commander. Well, we can get a shot at him. That's long range, though, so let's not do that. I think it's time for you to utilize your Ultra 20 in here. Position confirmed. Single shot should be enough, I think. Ah, uh, we've got to make sure we hit, though, so let's fire two. Come on. Oh, right here. Ooh, that dropped, eh? Recoil. Let's just fire one. See ya. Okay, we got lucky on that. I know Gundal wouldn't say that. He'd be like, no, it's, it's all skill. That's probably fast cam. Yeah. Oh, somebody's got a rocket attack miss significantly. You know what though? Those uh, Inferno missiles will do a really good job against that turret. He's an infiltrator. That Marauder's got to go. It's all yours buddy. Let's drop the tag on him as well. Show him what he's up against. Thanks for showing up. Waiting for order. Can you get that Ultra 20 in here, please, and thank you. What's the range? Oh, we don't have the range on that. Uh, we can multi, though. Let's A this guy, and we'll B this building. Just going to fire one. Uh, let's go with two. I'll make him dead. You'll try to make him dead, you mean? Okay, one hit, eh? Wow. Ultra 20 builds can be pretty devastating, but... 
the range that you have to be at to make it really work I don't know it's kind of counterintuitive to the build the builds that we've got going on with our mechs we do have that rack 20 still but we need ammo for it let's uh, go this route wow that's really bad chances to hit but we're gonna take it let's warlord this give us a little better chance to hit I know it's not the best thing to do but we're gonna do it Okay, that's a sizable amount of armor damage anyway. Maybe we can get the Thunderbolt over there to help. There's nothing else that's... Well, other than the Marauder, there's nothing that's really threatening us right now. What do you think, Dallas? Can you get over there? Oh, you can get a direct line of sight on it. Beautiful. And you like that long-range attack, so let's take it and do it. Let's apply the Warlord for the extra damage and the chance to hit. Come on, right there. And firing. Beautiful. Now we're going to sweep through the base. Nobody's firing. Oh, it's mortars. That's what he's firing. Uh, let's close with this marauder. That strong opposition. Watch your position and don't get flanked as the reinforcements arrive. Uh, let's warlord this. See what we can get on this guy. That's a kill. What was I saying about that AC-20? Uh, I don't know. It works perfectly fine with our build. <laughs> it's working great. I take back everything I said about the range on it. I mean, there, there are there are uh, modifiers we can add range to the Ultra-20. I think there's like some uh, targeting computers that add like 10% to the range and stuff, which might be kind of cool. But I don't know. Alright, let's sprint. Can we get a direct line of sight on this Jaeger at all? We can't do anything here. What the hell? Uh, I don't want to push too much that way because I think the enemy is coming that way. So let's just move here. Let's target this building. Um... Uh, leave these off. I don't know what we're up against, so let's leave them off. Okay, good chunk of damage. He's an infiltrator. This guy is just trying to hide. Alright, firing on this guy. This guy doesn't have much left anyway. Beautiful. Alright. Down to one and a half to one. Uh, I'm going to hold off on these. We've only got, what, five turns of firing left? Let's just use the lasers. Beautiful. And then we're going to move back down this way. Oh, we got a direct line of sight on that, th on that Jaeger mech from here. He's moving to indirect fire again, though. Probably a smart move on his part. Mortars! Oh, he's finally coming out to play. Oh, no, wait! I don't know what the hell he was doing. <laughs> it's like he came out, <laughs> saw the mech with the Ultra 20, and then went back into cover again. <laughs> he's like, nah, nope, that uh, guy's still there. I'm going to go back over here. Not taking that not taking that bait. Alright, we have Alright, we got sight on this guy. Oh, we got a bleep over here. What do we got? Arctic Wolf. Dual mortar. This guy's been giving us a pain in the ass, so let's hammer him. Wow, he misses one of the pulse shots? I 
I used to I remember when I used to see the name Gladiator and I used to be terrified of the mech. The 75 ton uh, Gladiator based on the um, the Black Knight it was the melee mech. It's like if you saw that and he was within range, you you knew you were dead. You just knew you were dead. You had to there was like nothing you could really do about it. And now I see the 55 ton Gladiator and I'm just like, "Eh, whatever." Whatever. Fire two. Have a seat, buddy. Solid connection on that one. Yeah, they were terrifying, man. It's like over 300 damage and a punch. Plus they had that, uh, what was it called? The, um, ballistic protection armor or something on them? Flames on the way, huh? Let's get into here. guy's been giving us a problem here. Let's just fire the lasers on him. I want to save the uh, missiles. Okay, not bad. I thought we had a direct line of sight on that guy. We don't. But we can see the turret from here. Actually, let's do this. We'll go over here. We're going to target this guy with all of this. And fire. We got two of them. Oh, that echoing sound was kind of cool. I think we hit the gladiator a bit too. Oh, what the fuck is this guy? Oh, fire starter. Oh, he's got mag shots. Eh. Could be an issue with the flamers, but not that worried. Strider. That's the that's a twenty ton, right? Remember, I remember seeing that name before. I don't doesn't I don't recognize it. I don't not not that I don't recognize it. I do recognize the name, I just don't remember what it is. I thought it was like a twenty ton something or other scout. Target destroyed. I'm gonna get uh, Gundal to take care of this uh fire starter here. He's got great heat sinking. If he's just firing the Ultra 20 uh, and not firing the medium lasers, you can try and heat him up all you want. You're just not going to, just not going to happen. Just not going to happen. All right, let's get into here. Wow. Really? Really? We got six turns of firing left. Let's drop this to one on this guy because he is down. We're going to try and kill him. Here we go. Alright, they're down to five. They've got no turrets left. This guy's, I don't know what the hell he's doing. Trying to flee, but he's trapped, so he can't. That sounded scary. Hollander 2, pirate. Yeah, there's the 45 tonner. Yeah, there he is. That's the guy. Alright, we can get these back on. That's the building. That's the building. That's the YAG. That's a building. Really lousy chance on the fire starter, eh? All right, let's engage the mechs. Hollander 2 could be a problem. Could be. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Location acknowledged. Finally decided to make a mistake. Although he didn't fire this turn, so... Well, he's not firing next turn either. <laughs> Target eliminated. 
See ya. Thanks for showing up. Hey, we gotta hurry. This is turning into a long episode. But we got some good choices now for our, our mechs, and I think really three and a half skulls and above is the only thing we can take. I may even crank up the difficulty one more level. I think we're in a position where we're pretty balanced. Five mech parts, one more level to, for difficulty, I think. I don't know, we'll see. We'll, we'll take another three and a half, four skull mission. So you have to see what the balance is like. So I think we're really, I mean, I know it says we're five skull. Um, but the balance I think is set up for, uh, for us taking four skull missions. Um, I think the Hollander is the threat. Although I could kill the Strider. Oh, it's 40 tons. It's interesting. Let's fire on him. Yeah. Oh, it's based on the, on the uh, Cicada ch uh, chassis, so I understand now. I understand now. All right, we got to get uh, Goofy up here. Arctic Wolf, Thunderbolt, just walk it up, walk it up. All right, good chance to hit there. That's a building, that's a building, fire starter. Okay, we've been having a problem targeting this guy, so let's shoot the fire starter. Get some initial damage on him if we can. Yes, Commander. Let's get down in here. I understand. Uh yeah, let's uh warlord this and go with everything on the fire starter. Yeah, a little better chance to hit the fire starter, so let's do that. Show a little bit of heat, buddy. Out of LRM. You are not. You are not out of LRMs. You're out of rockets. There's a difference. Oof. Let's go two. Fuck it. Sixty percent damage reduction. Wow. They are fast. He's running. DNI cockpit on, huh? You enjoy the pain. Not gonna help you, but you enjoy that pain over there. Arctic Wolf did not move. He did not move. Uh, yeah. Ooh, it's a back shot over here. Not the best chance to hit, though. Pretty good on this guy. Strider's out of sight. Let's take this guy. I'm gonna fire a maneuver. Soften him up for the big AC-20, I think. Enemy yeah, let's move into the trees. Rack two, maybe he's got on him. Looks like it. Ready for order. All right, let's just see who we got a better chance of killing here. 
99 yeah well this guy uh gonna warlord it we're only gonna use one shot firing wow he survived it good job buddy good job surviving that let's move into here now uh ooh, 17 huh 30 what about the hollander where are you did i go by you there you are yeah not so great let's shoot um uh, you yeah yeah i'd fire it not worried about ammo right now because we're almost done here all right, there's the knockdown. Okay. That Hollander is where? Right here? We got to get Goofy a little closer, I think, to get that Hollander. Now, I could try a back attack against this guy. All right, who do I want here? Hollander is what? Oh, not bad. Yeah, that guy's gonna die. I think we take it on this guy though. What's this? What's the, we don't have the Strider, do we? No. So let's uh, fire at the fire starter. Beautiful. And walk it forward a little bit. Yeah, that's, I don't know, that, that Hades is really OP, man. If we can find another uh, heavy improved uh, laser, that'll be great. The accuracy will be even better, but still right now, it's pretty damn devastating. I wonder if that guy's rack jammed. It's a possibility. Um, can we get a direct line of sight? We can. We can get a direct line of sight in the Hollander, but... Let's use you to finish up this guy on the ground. Let's target this guy with a CT hit. Because then we can push the AC, the Ultra 20 in on the other guy. Alright Dallas, let's uh, fire them maneuver. We're going to shoot at the uh, Hollander. He really is a threat. Well, he's the bigger threat of the two. Alright, let's keep moving forward. Because they're going to be retreating after this, most likely. Yeah, he's running already. Commander. Can you get... Oh, you can. Look at you. you got it. Look at you! It's not worth the not worth the push unless we can fire two. Okay, tag's on. Who's going first? These guys are actually pretty fast. We don't have the battle computer, which is dropping our initiative by two. And I think one of our other mechs has got a slick suite, which adds another one to initiative. So we're down slightly here in initiative. And it does make a difference. Yeah, let's fire on this guy. Okay, rack. Oh, you had a rack ten. How did he have a rack ten on that thing? Ah, right, whatever. Whatever. Thanks for being in good range for me. Okay, serious damage. Okay, I'm not worried about the Hollander at this point. With that Rectan gone, he has got nothing. He's got no game left. There we go. Goofy, do you get your barrage left? 
back you do have your barrage back okay let's use that let's get into here now this building's got like these medium buildings have got a lot of hit points so let's target this guy Beautiful. Oh, 45 damage. Do you got a large laser or something in there? I got an arrow. All right. I can't multi. Let's take this building down. Engaging target. See ya. Target building destroyed. All right, one building left. Awaiting order. Finish this guy up. Beautiful. Alright, see if we can get this guy. Might as well warlord it. We got it. It's all yours, buddy. He tried. Just didn't have the juice. Mission successful. All right, contract payment increased by 45%, which is nice. That'll cover our damages. We did take a bit of damage. Thunderbolt took a fair bit on the arm. That was on the, uh, wait, right? Yeah, the right side as we were approaching. Grand Summoner, look at this. AC 20 kills, beautiful. So let's move forward. That's got the pirate fire control system on it too, right? Which is a huge bonus. All right, so I'm not going to take any mech parts unless we have to. With us, we have to. I want something we can sell for sea bills here. Five hundred thousand heavy MRM ten. We already got what one of these guys? Hundred and forty-four thousand. Um, this is really just so we can get that. Uh, oh, that's a big chunk of change. Is that three point five? Or three and a half million, yeah. I'll take that. Um, I do have some snubnose PCs, PPCs that I haven't used yet. That's a possibility to dra to uh, drop a, a mech or two. Reasonable heat too. Thirty-five is pretty reasonable, I think, for sixty damage. Uh, the recoil is a bit of a problem, but we can we can work with that. Um, but we've already got three of those, so I don't have to worry about that. Ultra five, that's a possibility. Thunderbolt missile. These things have a really great chance to be intercepted by AMS, and we've been running into AMS a fair bit, so it's probably not the way to go here. Oh, low cores. 1.3 million. I'm going to put them, put two in there for now. What else do we have here? Ballistic accuracy. Far can we have Artemis? Oh, gunnery support A. And B. Oh shit, we can't can't say oh wait a second there's also clan heatsink down there or uh what's it called uh where is it here tactics support b oh shit where the hell was the uh, gunnery support uh clan heat bank let's take that and let's take this so the sniper will sell because that's a good chunk of change right there that's like almost 400,000 over 400,000 400 and 50,000, something like that, to sell. Um, but these things are really nice. Tactics support are nice too, but... They're worth a lot too, aren't they? No, 500,000 is not that much. Yeah, I found... I saw a Guts uh, support in the store. I didn't buy it though. It was like 500,000. I'm like, I'm not buying that. It'd be nice to have, but, eh. All right, let's see what we get here. 
this sniper is definitely going to get sold. Uh, but let's roll. All right, trebuchet part, Vulcan hammer, Hollander part, uh, a bunch of medium lasers, seven medium lasers, eh? Um, anything good? Nothing good. All right, well, stuff to sell. All right. 137,000, so we did make a little bit of C-bills off that, which is good. And what we're going to do um, between episodes is I'm going to get that Zeus up and running. I think we've got enough C-bills to make that work. So we're going to go through the financial report. We're going to lose, like, what, 1.9 million? Um, so we'll help me down about, what, 800,000 or so. Um, and then I'll sell everything, which means we should be able to get the Zeus up and running. I'll pull the uh, Centurion out of service. Um back to 7 max and we will then move from there get that thunderbolt up and running most likely it'll be a rack build uh, rack possibly a streak 20 maybe streak 15 I don't know yet we'll, we'll see how it goes but it is going to be a long range fire support mech most likely so um, that's the Zeus X but we'll see how it goes alright so I'm going to end the episode here I hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below until next time we'll see you later